Alice goes camping. Bella, what book are we going to read? Curious George goes camping. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This weekend, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, had special plans. They were going camping. At the campsite, the man with the yellow hat unpacked their gear while George looked at all the tents. Oh, and there were, yep, big trees and little trees and green trees. All sorts of different trees at the campsite, too. And George saw tents for big families and ones just the right size for a puppy. A puppy tent. There were even tents on wheels. Would you... The tents on wheels, yeah. Would you like to help me put up our tent, George? The man asked. George was happy to help. It would not be hard to set up a tent, he thought, but it wasn't easy. George, why don't you fill up our bucket with water at the pump, his friend suggested. We'll need it by our campfire later when we roast marshmallows. Mmm, marshmallows. George loved marshmallows. He couldn't wait to try them roasted. Now don't wander off and get into trouble, the man warned. Oh, he might need a timeout. Yeah, because George did not hear him. He was already gone. Oh, and he would have to wait for the bell to get up. Yes. At the pump, George worked the handle up and down. Soon, his bucket was full. On the way back down the trail, he saw a family packing up. George watched a girl pour her bucket of water on the campfire. What do you see there? Some leaves and some dirt and some rocks. Oh, and some little stones. The fire sizzled out. George thought that looked like fun. He poured his bucket of water on the next campfire. Hey, yelled the camper. We weren't finished yet. The camper began to chase George, but George didn't mean to cause trouble. Now he only wanted to hide. He ran into the forest as fast as he could, but the camper's footsteps followed close behind. George ran faster and faster and faster, and the footsteps came closer and closer and closer until suddenly they were passing George. Why, it was not the camper chasing George now. It was a, what was it? A deer. What fun to run with a deer. Forgetting all about the camper and the marshmallows, George ran after the deer. He's running after the deer. But a little monkey cannot run as fast as a deer in the woods. Before long, yep, the woods, the forest. George was lost and all alone. He felt tired and stopped to rest. Yeah, he needed to rest like he wanted to go home, maybe. First, he was worried. He was very far from camp in the forest, yes. But there were lots of other animals to keep him company. He wanted to go back to camp. Yeah, but right now he's in the forest. 
he saw a lizard sunning on a rock and a squirrel chattering in a tree. Then he saw the tail of a black and white kitty peeking out from under a bush. I don't know if that's a kitty. He was curious. Would the kitty like to play? George gently pulled the kitty out. <gasps> oh no! It was not a kitty. Thank you. It was not a kitty. What was it? Della, what was it? Yeah, it was black. It was a skunk. And it was scared. The skunk lifted up its tail and sprayed. Whoo! Oh, the spray smelled awful. The animals tried to get away. And the family? George wanted to get away too, but he could not. The smell was all over him. How would he ever get this awful smell off, he wondered. Too bad he could not take a bath in the woods. Poor George. <gasps> then George had an idea. He could wash off the smell in the creek. George jumped into the cold water. He splashed and scrubbed. No, you didn't throw your glove anywhere. He splashed and scrubbed, but he was still smelly. And now he was wet too. But what could he do? George thought and thought. Yeah, all the mountain. And he thought and thought and he climbed the mountain and his hair. Oh, oh, not the president's mountain, Mount Rushmore. No, different story. But what could he do? George thought and thought. Yeah, it's not the president's mountain, different story. If he climbed up a tree, would the smell blow away? No, even dry and high up in the tree, George did not smell better. Poor George. He wished he hadn't wandered so far from camp. He wished he were roasting marshmallows with his friend. <gasps> Suddenly, George heard footsteps heading toward him. Someone was coming. <gasps> it was the forest animals, but they ran right past him. They had seen something scary, and George saw it too. It was a fire. George had gotten into trouble for putting out a fire, but this fire wasn't in the campground. This was an emergency. Quickly, George climbed down the tree and grabbed his bucket. He scooped it full of water in the creek. Then, being careful not to spill the water, he climbed back up and swung from branch to branch through the trees. He's swinging from branch to branch. Yep, good swinging. Okay. When George got close enough to the fire, He reached down and poured the water on the flames. It went out with a big hiss. Just then, George's friend rushed out of the forest with a ranger. George, he called, I was afraid you would be here. It's a good thing you were here, George, the ranger said. We saw smoke from the campground, but you put this fire out just in time. George was glad to help. 
and the man with the yellow hat was glad that George was safe. But he had a funny look on his face. George, he asked, what is that smell? Do you remember what happened to George? Yeah, he needs a bath. Back at the campsite, George's friend helped him get rid of that awful smell. After a strange bath in tomato juice, <laughs> George smelled fine. Then the man with the yellow hat invited the ranger to cook dinner with them over their own small campfire. Fires can be nice if you're careful, said the ranger. George agreed, especially for roasting marshmallows. That was a good story.